Hey guys, happy Friday. I hope you had a great week. I hope you're ready for the weekend. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. If you're new, my name is Kathy, and today we are doing a budget breakdown for the first paycheck of this month of October. Woo! October, Halloween is right around the corner. Thanksgiving is next month. Wow, this time is flying. So, you guys, let's go ahead and touch base for last week's paycheck. Um, it was a bit kind of spendy, but that's okay. That's the whole point of having money, right? <laughs> no, that's not the whole point, guys. I'm being horrible. Um, okay, so the last thing that was supposed to come out was my daughter's health insurance, which it did um, for my cash envelopes. I did have, indeed, some leftover in myself. And I had uh, one and two dollars, which is not too bad. That will be getting rolled over to my letterbox challenge. And then nothing in miscellaneous. I have my coins that I'll put to the side in my coin jar. And then I have my receipts that I will be putting in my receipt apps. And you guys, in my receipt apps, I have like over $100 already. So that will be going towards Christmas shopping. So I'm going to go ahead and write $3 here. I mean, not $3. That's $2. Whoops. $2. I stuffed my sinking funds. My savings challenges were all done. And then my buffer, I had $22 left in my debit account, which... I used up everything so no rollover to my savings account so if you're new my buffer is anything that i leave in my debit account because i don't want to see a zero there and at the end of the week when like every friday every friday morning whatever i have left over that gets rolled over to my regular savings you guys so that is that and i did reach my 800 dollars milestone in my um savings account you guys i can't wait so happy so happy 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 i have yet to fill this out you guys because i have to do i have to do this paycheck and then go through all my sinking funds and then write you know the breakdown for each category here and then i'll do my closeout maybe for next week video okay you guys for this week's paycheck i got paid 8.99 8.99 and then um so you want to hear something crazy so I'm off Thursday and Fridays, right? So I got a phone call early morning today at 1.30 a.m. So Friday morning, 1.30 a.m. And I didn't see it until I woke up at 5.30 to go use the bathroom. And I called that number. I called my coworker back. It was another manager. There was a fire inside the, the facility. So the firefighters were called. She was there until 5.30. Literally, when I called her, she was already ready to leave. So she stayed there overnight, you guys. And thank God there was, I mean, there is not structural structural damage, but a lot of um, products were affected. So I'm not sure if I'm going to have to work later on tonight to do an overnight. I'm not sure. So this is why I'm filming this pretty quickly, just in case I do have to go into work just to stay there for the cleaning crew um, to come and basically do what they got to do. But thank God nobody got hurt. And you guys, it's crazy. Just one little fire caused a big havoc. So, yeah, that never happens before. And that is pretty, pretty scary. So let's go back to the budgeting breakdown. Um, for rent, I did put my $300 to the side. Me and my husband goes 50-50. My rent went up this month. So I am putting $840 now. And he's going to put $840. So for my Great Bank of America card, I paid my $120. And this card was because of a concert that we went to. I I bought a lot of merch so that was that one amazon prime will come out on the fourth well what what day is it today <laughs> oh it's the fourth it'll come out later on today um children international you guys i'm going crazy i don't even go the, the days through like the date actual day day i go friday saturday sunday oh it's friday all right i get paid <laughs> i don't get i don't say oh i get paid on the fourth of october no i say i get paid friday um, so Amazon Prime comes out either today or tomorrow. Um, Trudeau International comes out tomorrow, the 5th. HP Inc., same thing, comes out tomorrow. St. Jude's comes out on the 10th. So that money is there for whenever it's ready to get withdrawn. Um, so my total bills and expenses is $488 for my cash envelopes. And there's a fly here. My cash envelopes will be a total of $130. I did shopping today, you guys, early in the morning because I knew this was going to happen. I knew that I was going to have to go into work. So I did some shopping, so I won't be stuffing my whole $80. Um, I do split um, grocery, $80 for me, $80 for my husband. We combine is $130, I mean, $160 budgeted for that week. 
and i'm sorry if you guys hear the helicopter something must have happened around the area that there's a helicopter i do live in a crazy city so a lot of things be happening every single day throughout the day so sinking funds i will be putting the 30 dollars in that binder my personal binder um i have six categories each category gets five dollars for my savings challenges, I'll be putting $140. So I'm sp splitting that into three challenges and three binders, you guys. So I'm going to be putting four $40 in my Thanksgiving box, $40 in my chocolate box, and then $60 in my Halloween box that I'll be, not Halloween box, Halloween binder that I'll be stuffing this Sunday. So I can't wait for that fun, fun, fun. So my daughter will be getting her $20 in her savings. I'll be putting in my CD um, ladder $20. I do $20 every week, you guys. And that binder I'll be putting in my $50. So that's a total of $230 for my savings. So my buffer for this week will be, let's see, let's see. Uh, sinking, what did I do? Sinking funds, savings, savings. Okay, let's do that. $8.99 minus $130 minus $30 minus $230 minus $488. So I have a buffer of $21, so that's pretty good. I like to keep a buffer between $20 to $35 every week, just in case I want to order from Grubhub or anything on Etsy. I'm out of Etsy jail, but I have yet ordered anything, you guys. So I will start. <laughs> So let's go ahead and touch base on our monthly overview. I just want to cross out the things that I've paid off already. Bada bing. So we paid off the last thing was the health insurance. So that came off. And then for this month, I already paid the ooh, Great Bank of America card. And that's it and then everything else i'll cross out once it gets withdrawn from my account you guys um the family is doing good my husband is getting better my daughter still has that tiny bit cough but i did get some lemon and uh, honey so i'm gonna just mix them together that way the phlegm could come out um so that is that you guys let's go ahead and stuff my envelopes so my cash stuffing 20 20 40 60 70 80 90 100 five six seven eight so 108 dollars so that's it because i did like i said do my shopping earlier today just to get that out of the way and let's go ahead so food is the eight dollars that's it i mean i don't think i'll be buying anything else i think i'll be i should be good for the week so that's pretty good home is 20. And I feel like starting to, like, I want to buy, like, the paper towels and the toilet paper off Amazon. I don't know if I should do that. My bill is going to be a little bit higher if I do for Amazon. But, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. And that way I could buy in bulk. Because what I'm doing is just buying maybe, like, three rolls of paper towel and, like, five, six rolls of toilet paper every week. But I should just buy in bulk. That way I don't have to worry about it for, like, the whole month. So I think that's what I'm going to do. All right, you guys. So that is it for my wallet. And then for my CD ladder, if you don't know what a CD or CD ladder is, I do have a video that I'll have in the description box below explaining anything that you need to know about the CD. Um, so this book was created by Kimberly over at All Things, All Things Kimberly uh, WV. She has a YouTube and Etsy channel, you guys. I always say that Etsy channel. She has a YouTube channel and an Etsy shop, you guys. So, and I do put $20 a week. I did open my October 1st CD with $80, and I'll have that up there. So, I try to open the CD every first of the month, and I save $20 every week to open up the next month CD. So, here is the 20. We are starting fresh. And that's that. Now, let's go ahead and do my personal binder. Let me go grab that real quick. All right, and this binder holds my low priorities, my revolving envelopes, things that I do grab from, envelopes that I do spend a lot. So anniversary gets five. So now it has five, 10, 15, and I try to put $5 in every category each week, if I can. Concerts gets five, so that's 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. 70 in concerts already. That is amazing. That's for next year concerts. 
self-care i emptied out because i did buy some stuff for myself so we are starting fresh again five dollars i've been trying i've been spending a lot from this envelope you guys like it hits 20 bucks and then i go buy whatever i need but that's okay uh clothes has 10 20 30 40 40 and clothes date night has 5 10 15 and we're building this one back up to family fun now has 20 30 40 50 60 60 and family fun nice so let's go ahead and do my letterbox challenge to put my roll over money and if you guys still hear the helicopters i do apologize like i said has something had to happen nearby because that's the only reason why they would go by so i'm going to speed this process up i have a g buck and an l buck and i'm going to add that into this binder and i'm using trackers from renee over at budget nerd co and i'm just going to speed this up real quick Okay, you guys, this video was short and sweet, straight to the point. Um, thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you stay to the very end, please, please leave me an emoji of a fire. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Um, I probably will get calls later on to do it overnight. That way there is a manager there when the cleaning crew comes in. So uh, I'll probably do that overnight. You guys, wish me luck. And I'll see you back on Sunday for my Halloween binder. Take care, guys. Bye.